guys, this is my Beauty Hits and Misses for May 2017. Um, I can't believe it's already June. Today is June 1st. The day I'm filming this is June 1st. And there were so many things that I set out to do in the first half of 2017 that I didn't even start yet. So it's slightly depressing, but I'm going to try to make the best of what I have left. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting on a bench today and it's really uncomfortable and I feel like I'm going to end up slouching a lot in this video. Anyhow, I'm going to start with some UV products because it is summer and even though we know that we have to use UV products all year around, summer is when I get the most excited about UV products, right? I actually looked at a couple of my old videos from a couple of years ago. Um, I have my favorite uh, sunscreen video and also how to pick your UV products or how to best pick your sunscreen video and wow, I look really different two years ago. Anyhow, um, okay, Sum 37 Sun Away Cooling Watery Sunblock with SPF 50 Plus and PA Plus Plus is something that I bought last year, fall-ish, like September, October. And at that time, I went to Sum 37 because I wanted to try their Essence UV product, but I left with this instead because I fell in love with the texture. I could put on so much and it just feels like a really well hydrated skin without the heaviness, right? And even though my skin was super dry at that time, I convinced myself by saying, hey, I already use heavy duty face creams, so why not get something a little bit lighter as a UV product so that my makeup will look better, right? But sadly, this didn't really work for me in fall and winter because it just wasn't hydrating enough. But for the past month, actually for the past couple of months, I've been using this pretty often and I really, really like it. It has ingredients from Soon 37's famous uh, Secret Essence, which I love. And it also has a fermented bamboo sap, I believe. And you know how we're all now starting to kind of uh, talk about how we're not using enough UV product. We put it on, but it's just not enough for the face. Because a lot of UV products, when you put on too much, it kind of messes with your makeup application. And it just doesn't feel good on the skin, right? And I'm guilty of that too. But I feel like with this product, I can put on enough amount to completely uh, protect my face. And wear makeup. And makeup still looks good. This actually has been recently updated, I believe. Um, I'm not sure if it's just the packaging or the actual formulation, but I'm going to try to try the updated version too if it's a reformulation, but so far I like this one a lot and I still see this actual product being sold on a lot of websites. Next, I have this product from For Beloved One, Mela Sleep Whitening High Sunscreen Protection with SPF 50, two pluses. Two PA pluses. So Beloved One is a Taiwanese beauty brand and due to a lovely friend from Taiwan that I do a lot of beauty exchanges with, I've been trying a lot of Taiwanese beauty products and I like a lot of them. And for Beloved One is a brand that I've been really liking. I like their face mask and there's a serum that I'm using that I really like too. Um, and this actual one, I love the idea behind it that it helps to kind of prevent a melanin formation so that it helps to prevent dark spots and sunspots. It also has a beige coloring so it's perfect for, um, you know, when I go to the store down the street or I'm just going out for a couple of hours and I don't feel like wearing makeup, then I need some protection. And also I'm going to kind of even out my skin tone is when I like this because it has like a semi-matte finish. So it makes my skin look better than it really is. Plus it gives me UV protection. So why not, right? But the only problem I have with this is that after a couple of hours, it doesn't look good. It starts to kind of bunch up and yeah. I'm gonna have to investigate like the ingredients and stuff for this product, but so far, um, I do like the way this looks on my skin when I apply it, but not after two hours. Okay, next I'm gonna show you guys this lip oil from Etude House. This is called Honey Sarah Treatment Lip Oil. And I've had this for a while, but I've been really loving other lip oils that I've been kind of neglecting this one. <laughs> but in the past month, I used uh, this pretty often and I like it. It's not really lip oil, it's kind of like a gelish lip oil. And it has a really pretty, like a honey, kind of flowery honey scent. 
and I like the applicator. This same applicator comes in a lot of, um, oh, a Moonshots cream paint. It's like the lip and cheek product. And I used to hate this applicator because with that product, because it's a very pigmented product, it just brings out too much of the product, right? And it's not precise enough to um, apply it on my lips when it's a lip color. But with this, um, it feels really nice. It feels really nice on the lips to kind of use this big applicator to kind of smooth it out. And um, I don't feel like this actually treats my lips per se, but it makes my lips feel comfortable and I like the scent. Next, I'm gonna show you guys a couple products from Three Cosmetics. I have to kind of shift a little bit. Okay, so uh, Three Cosmetics is a Japanese uh, cosmetics brand. They have a lot of good skincare products and all that stuff. And I love the brand because they use a lot of really interesting and uh, luxurious kind of botanical oils, botanical essential oils. Actually, they're not so unique. They kind of make use of a lot of different ones in one product, kind of. Yeah, I don't really know a lot about Three Cosmetics, um, to be honest, yeah. I should do more research, but I don't see a lot of reviews uh, in English for that brand. So, But these two, um, these two have lots of essential oils in them. And this one here is, I believe it's called Velvet Lust Lipstick. And I have in the color Shiba Dance, which is what I'm wearing on my lips. And even though it's called Velvet Lust, it doesn't feel velvety at all when I first apply it. It actually feels very silky and moisturizing and satin finish, right? But after about, I would say, 20 minutes, it turns slightly velvety-ish, so it is very pigmented, and because it has so many botanical essential oils in this product, it feels so comfortable on the skin. This is called uh, Epic Mini Dash, and this is a cheek color that comes in this kind of whipped, moussey kind of formulation, and it feels really nice on the cheeks, and the finish is slightly powdery, but still moisturizing. So um, it gives you that powder-like finish, but it doesn't dry out your cheek area. So this is really good for winter, but because it's super pigmented and long-lasting, I've been really liking it uh, right now, and I think I'm gonna like this a lot in the summer too. Next, I'm gonna show you guys this product, which is the chemistry brand from Desium. This is the Retin Oil uh, Pro Repair Body Oil for Scars, Stretch Marks, and Daily Care. This is my newfound love for the body. As we age, we have to take care of our body, skin, as well as our face, right? And I love this product. This is my second one. I should really have repurchased a bigger bottle, but I happen to be at Desium Korea, and they didn't have the bigger ones of this, I just, so I just bought this one. I really like it because it's so lightweight. I feel like this is gonna be a good product for the summer. I wouldn't recommend using this during daytime and going out into the sun, but this is a good night treatment, like after to shower. I've been using this a lot on my legs to kind of uh, just massage it into my legs and using this about I would say like every other day for a couple of weeks I noticed that my skin became super soft and some of the scars that I have on my legs which I do have a lot of scars on my legs because I'm just just clumsy like that yeah um, they lightened a lot and my skin just feels firmer and yeah I, I love the effect the benefits of this product. Benefit California is something that I've been absolutely loving. Surprisingly, this was released here in Korea first before US. Um, so I started using this, uh, you know, a couple months ago, a few months ago, and I really like it. There was a golden overlay spray, but I didn't like that. But the actual product is a very pretty um, bright pink with a little bit of coral in it. In the box, it actually looks coral, the, the color, but on skin, it looks more so pink. And I like this one the best out of all benefit blushers because it's so pigmented, it's so pigmented, and it gives this really nice satin finish that's not shimmery, but it has, it still gives that glow. Mm -hmm. Lastly, this is a product from I'm From. Uh, it's a Korean brand. I got this from Wish Trend. Uh, I think Wish Trend was offering this to probably all their affiliates. So I'm a Wish Trend affiliate, and they emailed me and asked me if I wanted to try this product, and all I have to do is pay the shipping, which 
I'm in Korea, so the shipping was just like two, three dollars. So I jumped at the chance and I got this, but I've only used it twice because I can't stand the strong scent. It's very heavily fragranced and the scent um, lingers on. I do use a lot of fragrance skincare products still, even though I try to avoid it. It's just, it's, it's too hard to avoid it, right? And um, there are so many great skincare products that are fragranced. So I'm not all about like unscented products, but this one is too heavy, heavily fragranced. And uh, another reason is because it's partly that ginseng scent. And I'm someone who took uh, red ginseng growing up like for medicinal purposes and I'm really sick of that scent. I don't like uh, ginseng scent at all. So that's why it's a big turn off for me, but I don't know if this is a good product or not. I just haven't used it enough. And um, so if you guys know anything about this product, please do share it with me. And if you know of a good product from this brand I'm from, do let me know. I've heard something about their honey mask that's supposed to be really good, right? Yeah, just because I don't like this product, it's not gonna turn me off from this brand. Um, so yeah, anyhow. This is my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, do let me know if you have any questions or comments. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.